called it for a Friday afternoon. <coughs> so you really had this nightmarish scenario, uh, you know, in, in the, literally in the road of, of the Yacha, these, these two, three shuls, including the Siddal Shul, and we had this nightmare scenario of, uh, you know, of marches uh, colliding with people going to shul, etc. And it, it was a very, very stressful <coughs> time, very stressful and difficult time for us. We worked extremely hard to actually get the march declared illegal, which we did, and we succeeded. Um, it, just to add, always in South Africa, there's always a bit of spice. Uh, at that, that very week, the Johannesburg Metropolitan uh, Police Department were on strike. And in fact, they were actually shooting the normal police in town. So, you know, the, the, the city council has to give you the, the permission to march. Um, and of course, they weren't in a position to do that. But nevertheless, and, and, and in fact, we were always going to have a counter march, which was going to be legal because it was going to be within the building, etc. But when, 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 when we heard it was declared illegal, guys like Ronnie Cashel, who I think was still a minister at the time, we thought, I mean, there's no way he's going to address an illegal march. But, uh, you know, clearly laws don't uh, apply to ministers. So they kept coming. And uh, we then realized that the police were not going to do very much about it. Uh, they were stretched, they were, they were trying to monitor the, the JNPD strike, etc. And that's when we actually recalled our march and up the ante, which we had to, because that then focused uh, the police in terms of protecting the neighborhood and protecting uh, you know, the streets of, of, of Glen Hazel and, and Sydney and Ray Dean. And uh, it, 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 was quite a, it was quite an unbelievable uh, afternoon. Uh, I mean, the speeches of it were filmed. Actually, one of the last speeches of the late Mendel Kaplan was actually that day. And um, it, it worked out very, very successfully. We had an hour march. They were stopped just before, uh, just before the Sydney of Shul. Uh, Ronnie had come a bit early for Mincha. And, uh, and, then, and then what happened was there was a couple of hundred, uh, a couple of hundred local residents who were not happy with us. And they came ready to, ready to give these marches a hiding. So the poor police and the CSO had to protect... Uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, this crowd from entering, uh, entering our neighbourhoods. And it, it sent a very, you know, as Evie speaks about in South Africa, it's a new democracy that's constantly changing. And you know, one of the things a community like the Jewish community has to do is set these red lines of what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. And, and we set this red line that, you know, coming into our neighbourhoods, uh, demonstrating against our functions, etc., is unacceptable. And thank God, since then, um, we, have not any, we have not had any demonstrations that are Yomaz Mut and Yomazi Karons and anything we've done, notwithstanding that they are publicly advertised throughout Johannesburg, which we also insist on doing because we, we are. We are